This place is a mess. <laughs> Just like my life. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ray here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Broke Art video. Before we jump into it, if you're new here and you like Broke Art videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will leave a playlist of all my Broke Art videos down below. And y'all know I don't like long intros, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Alright, so the very first thing that every artist is gonna need is some paper. Now, they did have a variety of sketchbook papers, but I chose not to get any of them because they were basically like glorified printer paper. You know, I want something that can take a beating. And that, my friend, is where poster board comes in. See, back in the day when I couldn't afford nice drawing paper, poster board is where it was at because it was so cheap and you can cut it to whatever size you want. And to add a little texture to it, add a little grip, that way the pencil can stick to the paper, you're gonna wanna sand it down just ever so slightly, just buff it out. And boom, just like that, you ladies and gentlemen, you have some of the best and some of the cheapest drawing paper around. And I get it, if you don't want to mess around with like sandpaper and buffing out paper, alternatively, they have a variety of card stocks for only one dollar. How incredible is that? And it would work just as well and much better than any of that sketch pad paper. Now, as far as like the pencils go, you have an endless variety of pencils and pens here. I was actually like taken back with how much variety they had as far as like pencils go. Today, I'm going to be using my favorite cheap pencils. These are the Ink Soft Script Mechanical Pencils. I love these so much. I've been using them literally for years, probably about five years now, the best. Now usually I'll just like skip through the part where I sketch out the drawing. Today I am drawing my favorite Frida Kahlo. But I'm gonna show you guys the extra footage because I truly want you guys to see the whole entire process from the very very start of the outline all the way to the final piece. Ta-da! Finished outline. Okay, okay, guys, 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 guys. They have a whole entire graphite, charcoal, pencil set, everything you need for only four dollars at the Dollar General. I have been doing charcoal drawings for years now, and by far, this is the cheapest set I have ever come across. Hopefully the quality isn't as cheap as the price, huh? <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna lie, it was actually, how do I put this, Dollar General popped off. I was very impressed with how well this charcoal works. I was very impressed with how fancy the different levels of charcoal was, but I will have to say the only issue I had was blending this charcoal, which is weird because charcoal is usually very easy to blend. So, solution. Those little makeup things that you always like throw away when you get eyeshadow palettes, you can get those for a dollar, like a giant pack of that, and they work like mind-blowing when it comes to blending out charcoal. And Faber-Castell, get out of here with your $14 eraser pencils. We have cap erasers, which work insane when it comes to getting little tiny details. It picks up charcoal. It's everything I could ever dreamed of. It, and you probably own one as we speak. Now, in addition to adding charcoal, I wanted to add in some colors. So when I saw this watercolor set for only $4, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna add it to the cart. I know I don't have watercolor paper, but I really wanna try it out and see how it works. And once I placed it in the water, it did not break down properly. It kind of looked like little tadpoles swimming in the water. That was kind of weird. But tadpoles aside, I genuinely was impressed with how well the watercolor worked. Was it the best in the world? No. But did it do the job that I needed it to get done and do? Yeah. And it did it quite well and I had a lot of fun working with it. Oh, 
And by the way, I am using these Dollar General brushes that I got for a six piece for $3, making each brush only 50 cents. So that is super awesome. In fact, when I started using the brushes, they were working so well, I kind of thought to myself like, man, Hobby Lobby is really ripping me off because these brushes work really great for only 50 cents a piece. Okay, I blacked out the screen because I'm gonna need a breather because the art supply that I found next I could not believe the quality, how cheap they were, but how amazing they were. These Dollar General fine liners, they are on another level of amazing. Like I was in disbelief. They were only $1 because they were so good and they worked over the watercolor so good. They went on the page silky smooth. These things are like straight out of a dream. They're incredible. Now, as far as the artwork goes, you're probably noticing that there's a stark contrast between like the bright, cartoony, colorful flowers and like the dark, realistic Frida Kahlo. And the reason I chose to have such contrast was kind of an homage to her. If you know anything about Frida Kahlo, she had a very tough life and all this pain and suffering, she managed to turn it into the most beautiful, groundbreaking, vibrant paintings that you have ever seen. And I just felt like that would be kind of a fun way to like portray that in a drawing. Like have the contrast of her realistically, then we have like the fun flowers. Do you see where I'm going with that? Ugh, I love Frida Kahlo. I'm sorry, the ASMR on that was just too dang good. But yeah, back to the weird tadpole watercolor. It's not the most pigmented, so I had to go over it a few times to like build up the color because like I said earlier, I really want this to like pop. I want all the colors to be vibrant and cool and beautiful. You know, something like you would see in a Frida Kahlo paint. And you know what? Let's go buck wild. Let's go crazy and let's add even more color into the background. So I'm just going to pack in some blue just to kind of give it some ambiance, give it kind of like a vignette. I'm going to deepen up the colors of her uh, shirt slash dress thing because you know what? Why not? Let's just go crazy with it. And this is one of the very rare videos where I just go crazy with my artwork. Usually I'm very precise with everything, but today, I don't know, I'm feeling a little, a little saucy, you know what I'm saying? And now this brings us to our last products, both for the whopping price of one dollar. I found this chalkboard marker, which is basically like a paint pen, as well as two calligraphy pens. And if we're gonna be honest here, I kind of just bought the calligraphy pens just because I wanted to buy them. Uh, they work okay. I prefer the fine liners much more when it comes to like fine detailing, but you know, they're made for calligraphy. I'm not doing calligraphy, so you know, if you do calligraphy, why not? They're only a dollar. But the chalkboard marker, that my friend was a whole entire different story. I love paint markers. I love them for highlights. I love them to just add just like a nice little dash of white where, you know, highlights need to be pulled out. And it's a great way to have control of that. And for $1, you just absolutely cannot beat that. And with that being said, here is the final drawing, which I posted on the gram. Guys, I am so happy with how it turned out. I am so happy with the Dollar General art supplies. And just as a recap, poster board, good. Pencil selection, great. Charcoal pencils for only $4, wonderful. Fine liners, next level. If you are an artist, professional, young, starting out, old, whatever, go get them. They are so good for only a dollar. Not even, they're just good. They're not even good for a dollar, they're just good. The only thing that was kind of weird was a watercolor because, <clears throat> yeah. And yeah, honestly, Dollar General, you have my approval. Ding, 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 we have a winner here. So anyway, guys, with that being said, thank you so much again for watching. I will leave all my links down below, including my Broke Artist playlist. And yeah, I will see you guys next video. Bye.